All right, let's do um, let's do a quick question. Okay, so I'm just going to do. Um, if you have your calculator there, by the way, this will be useful. I'm just going to do a couple of conversions with you. Okay. So for example, let's do a really easy one. Let's convert um, 11 days into minutes. Okay. Just suppose I want to know how many minutes are there in 11 days. Okay. Before you tell me the answer, how am I going to use this? to help me. What am I going to do with this? Yeah, Maria. Okay, think carefully. Minutes are really small units, aren't they? Compared to days anyway. So my number, should it get smaller or bigger? Bigger. Yeah. Should get bigger. There's lots and lots of minutes, not many days. So I should be multiplying. Do you see why I'm multiplying? I want this number to be huge. Now, before I get an answer, how does this diagram tell me what to multiply by? Someone tell me how to use this diagram before they tell me the answer, because that's the important part. Which two units are we using? Days and minutes. So to get from days to minutes, I have to multiply by 24, and then I have to multiply by 60. Does that make sense? So now I can write this down, 11 times 24 times 60. So the answer is? 950,400. 950,000? I think. I might be wrong. 15,840. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me rewind. 15? 15,840. Thank you. Okay, now 11 times 24 times 60. That looks about right to me. Okay, so that is the number of minutes. In 11 days. Okay. I know I had that. Okay. So that's good. <laughs> I can go from big units to oh, small no, units. Eight seconds. Sorry. Uh, that's different. Okay. So there's my first example. Let me give you another one. And I'm going to use our calculator here to give you a bit of a trick. Um, what if we wanted to go from 275 minutes into hours? This is a very common one, minutes to hours. Okay. Now, look at your diagram. These are the two units I'm using, but I'm going the other direction now, right? So should I multiply or divide? divide. I should divide, okay? So I'm going to go 275 divided by 60. Okay. Now, my calculator, I already did this. My calculator, when I hit equals, okay, it gives me a decimal. Can someone read out uh, maybe four or five of the decimal places that they've got? Um, Christian, go ahead. 4.5833. And it, it keeps going, right? It keeps going. Good. Okay. Now, in normal language, right, if someone wants to tell you, if I said to you, how many hours is it going to take to do X, right? No one talks in decimal when they describe time, right? Well, very few people, right? So I don't like this. I don't want it in four point whatever hours. I want this in hours and minutes. That's a normal way to do this, okay? So how am I going to convert? This extra bit, into bit suggestion. Four and a half hours. It's pretty close to four and a half, isn't it? But that's some, some really big rounding you've done, right? And not only is it big rounding, I've actually rounded it wrong because it'd be four point six. Oh, which is, yeah, but it's close, isn't it? Okay. So I've got a better trick for you. Okay, you got your calculator there, yeah? No, I don't have a calculator. Okay, well, <laughs> you got close. On your calculator, I want you to remember this really cool button we used mainly when we were doing angles. Um, it's above the button on my calculator that says ENG, right? Do you remember what that other button it's called? It's got a circle and some commas on it. What's that button called? It looks like this, right? What is this button called? I told you what it was called. Do you remember? Look at the symbols. Look at the symbols. Commas. You need to write this down since no one could actually remember. Okay. This button is called the degrees, minutes, seconds button. Right. In fact, on some calculators, some of you might have it. The button doesn't look like this. It says DMS, which stands for degrees, minutes, seconds. Okay. Now watch this. Make sure you've got that four point five eight three three three. Make sure you've got it on the display, and then just hit this button and see what the calculator tells you. If you've done it right, if you're looking at it, I think it should say something like this. Four and then there's a, a degree symbol and then 35, I think. And then there's a, a dash and then, is there anything after this? Can you see anything? Is it zero? This is five nine. 
Zero? Like that? It's just nothing? Just like that? Wait, what's five nine? Oh, oh, right. That? Is it that? Zero. What zero? Yeah, I'm getting... <laughs> you, have you done something different? You, yeah, it is 35, right? Yeah, 35. Okay. Okay, shh, 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 shh. So what's this button done? Right? This button's super cool. It's done this thing. You see this? Right? It said, huh, 0.583333 of an hour. 0.583. How many minutes is that? And it's just crunched it for you. It's just output that. However, that's got a degree symbol. We're not measuring angles here. We're measuring time. time. Okay. So my answer, I need to convert this. This isn't the answer. The answer is four hours and 35 minutes. Okay. So there are other ways to do it, but by far that's the quickest way. And I'll show you others later on.